Welcome back guys. We are on a little train ride here on our new Vancouver line. And because I want to take a ride and see our new tunnel bridge combination. So let's just take a little ride here. We got a full load of logs here, so that's good. And let's take a ride. There's a little bit of a dip here before we go uphill again. But I think we should be okay. Well, we do lose a little bit of speed here. We were up to 45, now we're down to 42. But now it's going up again. Like a new industry just either was getting abandoned or was being built. Alright. A uh, decent amount of planks sitting here waiting for us. So that's nice. Let's see how many we get. I'm dropping off all of those logs and we get 120 planks. Nice. That's very good. That's very good. And then we head out towards our tools production. And let's see what kind of speeds we reach here. So 37... Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. It's not increasing its speed significantly. Uh, here we go. It's getting better. We're up to fifty almost. Fifty. But we're not going to hit the eighty. We're definitely not going to hit the eighty, which is a shame. That's a shame. So we made... Around 65, I guess, before we start stopping. 66. Okay. But heading up to Cleveland, we should hit top speed. Ooh, here comes our sister train. I like it. Hey there, sister train. Now, I suppose the boxcar should really be in front and the, the log cars or the side stick cars should be in the back, but it's okay. We can fiddle around with that later. Let me know if, if there is a specific, if you know if there is a specific order that the car should be in. I know the anything that holds dangerous goods like uh, uh, fuel and stuff should be at the back of the train but do the other cars have a specific order that they need to be in i don't know let me know if you know i do like this little bridge going into the tunnel i think that looks very cool and we should definitely make the 80 high auto save thank you for showing up we should hit the 80 kilometers an hour on this on this bit. Come on, yes, 80 kilometers an hour. Good. All right. And up to Cleveland we come. We have quite a lot of logs waiting here, which is great. That is good to see. And we drop off 39 tools in Cleveland. Which is also good. And... 
There we go. The end of the line. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. There were a few things that happened there. Uh, Sacramento wants food and machines. Didn't it already want that? I have to, yeah, it did already want that. Okay. Now, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, we are going... Uh, okay, you are picking up both now. Good, 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 good. We, we're going to mess with our passenger lines a bit. Uh, because the passenger lines, as you all know, are absolutely not making money. None of them. The Vancouver Cleveland, I think, will start making money. But the passenger lines just don't make money. Uh, the rail delivery bricks and tools to... I would like that to start making money, but it's just not right now. It's just not. Which is frustrating. But the passenger lines are what we want to fix because they have been losing money for a long time. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's check how many passengers are actually waiting at all the stations. Can we just add cars? So you just picked up passengers. You didn't get a full load, so you can't just add cars there. In Detroit, we certainly don't have enough passengers waiting to add cars. In Providence, going to Provo, we theoretically could. In Jackson, no. In Providence, no. That's a passenger train coming in there with 54 passengers. And it's not going to get a full load here either. So what I think I want to do... I'm going to reduce the rate on these. Which isn't the greatest thing to do for passenger trains. But in order to try and make these lines profitable... I think what we're going to do is sell one of them and then we're going to replace you with I think with the Mikado now passenger wagons Oh, these can go fast. 180. 110. Okay. So, what's the fastest train that we have? 120. So, we have to electrify all of this. Okay. Okay. Well, the biggest hassle about electrifying is the actual stations. Ooh, and we have high-speed tracks now. Nice! All right. Uh, well, let's get everything electrified. Uh, was that everything there? I think it was. And change to high speed. Now, let's just click everything here. Okay. Was that everything? I think it was everything. Nope. 
Now it does. All right, let's click everything here. And we don't need to do it out there. So I suspect we might have to do that a little bit. So there. Then we just need stations to be clear of trains, which you are now. So configure you. We'll bulldoze this track and this track. No. And we'll put in high-speed tracks with Kateris. Okay. Do we want to do these while we're at it? I don't know. You know what? Why not? You know what? I am going to pause the recording and then we will, I'll be back when I have uh, electrified everything here. Okay, we're, we, we've upgraded, let's just keep it at a quarter. We've upgraded all the train stations and all the rails between all of the cities over here in Fort Lauderdale, Detroit, Providence, Jackson, and Provo. So everything now has high speed tracks with catenaries. Now I haven't done all of the cargo stuff because we don't need to yet. But let's try and find our passenger train here. Or we can just do that. And say manage vehicles. And we'll replace you with this guy. I'm not sure this is going to make us money. So actually, let's take a look at you right now. You're a mediocre. You can do 25 kilometers an hour. You can do a hundred. Now, what if we just added some more of these? Now you're poor. Uh, what if we did something like this? So flat a hundred medium 30 and high 16 you don't shouldn't have any high inclines we have so before you had a capacity of 80 we basically doubled your capacity let's try this for this line uh, what's the length of you now um, 260 meters. That's kind of perfect. That's kind of perfect. And you are here right now. So hopefully doubling the capacity, but unfortunately reducing the rate will do something for that line. Now for the other line going up to Fort Lauderdale, uh, Manage, no, not managed line. Managed vehicles. We're going to sell one of the trains as well. And for this line, we're going to replace. So it had the same capacity. What we're going to try and do is going with, with the electric train. And so the electric train can do 120. So we want the this passenger wagon it's a little bit lighter it's five tons lighter but can, can carry one passenger less but it can do the 120 that we need this one can only do 110 
So we reduce the weight from, well, basically on the six axle car, it's two tons per passenger. With the heavyweight parlor, it's a uh, calculator. Uh, 35 divided by 19 it's 1.84 tons per passenger so it's more efficient tonnage wise um, so let's try something like this do a capacity of 171 it's a little bit too long actually so two 152 capacity you can do the 120, except on high, 29 million, replace, let's see what this does to our passenger lines over here, now, where's Provo, Provo is there, Let's just take a look. The train itself is pretty old and dirty. So are the four, first four wagons. And then the next should look a lot nicer than they actually do. Cool. Alright, so let's see how what this does for these passenger lines. Hopefully they get a little bit more full. Now where is this train? Oh, what was that? Achievement! First electric train arrived! Okay, cool. Alright. So we have our first electric train, which I'm kind of excited about. It's nice and quiet. Whoa, some industry just did something. Yeah, I like it. We'll see if these passenger trains start making money. I have my doubts. Oh, new vehicle. 4122 Classic. Or Class 9000, I think it was. Or was it 900? I don't know. Alright. So you got 79 passengers on board. How many are waiting in Detroit? 61 via Providence. Achievement earned. Crowd in the train. Have a train filled with at least 100 passengers. Nice! And that's the other one. So there are a few waiting to go to Providence here. Okay. And you picked up 109 passengers. We'll see if this starts making money. We spent a lot of money. We spent a lot of money. 45 million. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough if we start making money. Is this passenger train already all the way down here? Yes, it is. How many passengers do you have bought on board? 138 out of 152. That's not bad. There's not that many waiting here, but... Let's take a look at the lines. So, yeah, you're losing money, you're losing money. But, hopefully, they'll start making money now that we have done this.
Now, over in our other passenger line over here in Sunnyvale and Sacramento. Uh, let's, before we look at that, let's just see if we have, yeah, we have a ship sitting here waiting for planks. They are being produced relatively quick. All right, you know what? I think uh, managed line in Murfreesboro, instead of waiting forever, just wait for five minutes. Wait for five minutes. Because we have a lot of logs sitting here waiting to be delivered. You know what? I'm going to say three minutes. Managed line. Okay. So ship 22, let's pin you so we can see how many you get. All right, now this passenger line, there are a lot of passengers waiting there. Actually in Sacramento, in San Antonio, not that many. In Grand Prairie, there are none. I guess that's because a train just picked up. Yeah. All right, so these are the old generals. So it makes sense that people are not super excited uh, about getting on them when their cars can basically drive just as fast. So that does make sense. So you got 80 planks on board. Okay. Well, it's better than 65. All right. So if we wanted to remove one of these, and then replace those two with definitely steam at 100 kilometers an hour. All right, Cleveland is wanting new stuff. Good, good. Uh, so this can pull a lot more. It's also more than four times as expensive to maintain. So I think we'll go with the Atlantic. Passenger, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. 18.3 million. Gives it a capacity of 100, where this has a capacity of 42. It'll be going a lot faster. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we are going to sell you. This also means that the passenger trains won't be holding up our cargo trains as much, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. We have 26 and nothing else. Okay. So you're full. This shipping line is really problematic. There's that one. How many did you get? 85. 
How many did you get? 87. How many did you get? 59. You're not gonna get many either. At least the... It's flowing now. So you just pick up as many as you possibly can. Not just half all the time, which is really annoying. Uh, okay. So... Let's take a look at our passenger lines. Uh, you're losing 1.6 million. The Grand Prairie Sacramento is losing 1 million. Where is you? Provo Providence is actually making money. 321,000. Oh, no. Losing money again. 663,000. 828. Uh... 115 people on board. Let's just uh, turn this on. And let's see. If you'll start making money. Minus 699,000 right now. What will you make from dropping off here? We don't know if it's dropping off all its passengers here. 199,000. But we got up to 154 passengers on board. It's like the train whistles. I really do. Okay, let's see what you make up here, because here you will be dropping everyone off. And how many people are waiting for you going to Provo? 169. 170, okay. Well, towards Provo. So you'll actually be full here. And you made 923,000 on this one. Okay. And you are full now. And what do we have waiting down here? Going to Provo. 27 people. So it's not that many. We have tons and tons of people waiting around here. Not really. I mean, it's not overwhelming, so I think it's fine. And you come in with a full load here. And make 329,000. And then you go on with 102 passengers. Okay. Well better and quite a lot waiting there there it is come on come on come on pick the train you are reaching the max speed of the passenger wagon so that's good all right One million you made there, but, 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 you're also costing two million in maintenance. I don't think the electric train is worth it. Not even close. 
Not even close. It's losing 2.8 million right now. Which isn't great. Really isn't great. So this basically means that we're losing money right now. Yeah. Look, look at the costs on the trains right now. It's definitely not worth it. You know what? Um, let's edit this. Let's... So you're running these, which are lighter. I can go faster. What are their maintenance compared to these? Also a bit higher. Um, so... We're poor right now. Mediocre. There. Hopefully that helps a bit. Okay. So we'll let the, these passenger lines run for a bit and see if they start making money. If they don't start making money, I am seriously considering just dropping passenger lines for now. Because they're annoying. <laughs> That's basically why, because they're annoying. They're not making money. All right. How is the uh, Vancouver line doing now? Uh, there are tools. You know what? Let's turn balance uh, like that. So that those, the ships are doing well. The tools for Provo or Providence are doing well. Yeah, the uh, Vancouver Cleveland is doing okay now. So yeah. It's basically the three passenger lines. The bricks for Fargo isn't making a lot of money. Basically, the passenger lines and the bricks for Sacratonios and and so on are, is the one that is or the art is the ones that are not doing so well. Right, you're coming down with 130 tools. I like that. Thirty tools. How many do we have sitting here? Four hundred. So I want to see if you're going to pick up all of them. I really hope you do. Let's just pin that. Okay. Let's see. Well, we made twenty million here, but eleven of them was from investments that we uninvested. So we made 9 million, which is very acceptable. You do pick up 130 tools, good. Okay. So we'll come back in the next one and see if... If this shapes up, if this shapes up, so many bricks sitting here. Hopefully, it gets through them at some point. So San Antonio is getting all the bricks at once, not all the fuel at once. 
Sacramento is more or less getting all the bricks it wants, not all the tools yet. Uh, down here, Sunnyvale is getting decent amounts. It's just a little bit sitting there, so this truck's this truck will pick up most of the bricks, I guess, and they'll be fine. We haven't connected Sunnyvale to the passenger line yet, thank God. I'm wondering if it might be worth doing point-to-point -point passenger lines. So we do Grand Prairie, San Antonio as one line, then San Antonio, Sacramento as one line. Just one train on each, just going back and forth, having a reasonable rate. I don't know. Let me know your theory about passenger lines, because I am a little bit at a, at a loss. Uh, I have to be quite honest and say, I am at a little bit of a loss on why passenger lines just won't make money. Why won't they make money? Well, you're in a slight profit, 12,000, but you're running a full load. Yeah. We'll check back in in the next one. Uh, I won't let the game run in between episodes. Uh, we'll figure out as we play along because we have enough money to to work with that we can uh, work on something relevant or not insignificant in the next one. And what we're going to work on is going to be updating our New York fuel line and probably getting fuel down to Santa Rosa as well. So just get this all updated and nice. And then we can see what we can do. That'll probably take the episode getting all of this updated. We'll see because we, we need basically need to rip it all out because and put it in again which is fine which is absolutely fine so yeah um thank you so very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time